you're all very welcome here this morning. Uh, my name is Con Trass. I'm from the Apple Farm ordinarily, but today I'm from uh, the Tipperary Food Producers Network. Um, the Tipperary Food Producers Network started about, well, eight or nine years ago. I can't remember exactly when it started, but it was after a meal a number of people had together and uh, a few people, especially Pat Whelan, decided that it would be a good idea to have a, a, a network, a group of food producers working together. And that started with maybe about 10 members originally, and that's built up to around 30 members now. And what you've seen outside when you were coming in, of course, are the members of the network uh, that produce uh, food in, here in Tipperary. So we're always looking for new members, of course, as well, but we're very happy with the, the 30 we have. Um, we have a tip food strategy, and basically the idea behind the tip food strategy, which was developed as part of the, the network, uh, was to establish Tipperary as a food cradle of nourishment. And nourishment is a very important word to us as Tipperary food producers because we want to produce the very best of whatever it is that we are producing. And we're trying to differentiate ourselves by producing uh, something that you won't necessarily get quite the same anywhere else. I suppose a lot of you will be familiar with the projects that we've done over the last uh, few years. There were long table dinners, some of you might have been at them. Um, last year there was the great taste uh, event, the Irish judging took place here in Tipperary and there were uh, 77 eminent food experts uh, both from Ireland and abroad judging uh, the, the, the foods and so on. So that was a really, really exciting event. This year we're going to launch a book later on in the year, uh, a children's book, uh, again featuring the members of the network. Um, and as well as that, we're involved in a project at the moment looking at establishing a food centre of excellence in Tipperary. So those are some of, the, some of the ongoing things. But what you're here for today, of course, is the Tipperary breakfast. Um, and the idea of the breakfast, really, uh, that came about a number of years ago as a way to kind of get the, the people who provide uh, hospitality to um, visitors, tourists, or people who live in Tipperary, uh, to get them more integrated, if you like, into the idea of uh, sourcing Tipperary uh, produce and using that on their menus. And we thought that one of the interesting ways to do that would be via a breakfast, um, because of course people always think of you know, local sourcing maybe when they're talking about dinner and so on, and breakfast maybe not so much. I remember many years ago, maybe 20 years ago or so, uh, I was at a, a, a Board Falsh and Board Bia event at the time, and. Uh, one of the people speaking at it was horrified because he got margarine that morning in the hotel instead of butter and he was just giving out that there was, you know, that we were living in Ireland and you couldn't get butter. So we've kind of moved on from that to not just, you know, thinking about what's Irish but maybe thinking about what's, what's more local than that. Um, so that's, that's really how that came about and what we're hoping is that you as the Tipperary um, people, the people who provide breakfast in Tipperary will uh, adopt our Tipperary breakfast um, and serve it to the people who are coming to you because there is such a great interest in food among people who come uh, to visit the country. Um, the, the picture, I'm not sure if we've seen the picture yet. Um, Kevin, Kevin Thornton took that picture that we've used in the publicity. It's on your brochures and so on. So I just want to thank Kevin for that. Um, and I've got a couple of other thanks to do as well. Um, that's the financial assistance and supports provided by Tipperary County Council, by the local enterprise office in Tipperary, by North Tipperary Leaders uh, Partnership, by South Tipperary Development Company, the Tipperary Tourism Company, and the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine under CEDRA. We've managed to get funds from various places, as you can see, so we're really appreciative of that. Um, so what I'd like to do now is invite uh, uh, Councillor Siobhan Ambrose uh, to uh, address you. <laughs> 